steel rod 5 meter long and and of 40 mm diameter is used as a column with one end fixed ran other end is free to stop determine the crippling load by euler's formula take e as a 200 gigapascal so first of all write down the given data the length of column it is given it is 5 meter length of column it is given 5 meter then diameter of rod it is given that is 40 mm 40 mm end condition end condition in condition one end is fixed and other end is free one end one end fixed and other end free and other end is free this boundary this one it is boundary condition it is given for when one end is fixed and other end free l is equal to 2 into l 2 into l okay so 2 into l it is 5 meter it will be 10 meter l if it is 10 meter convert it is in mm convert this it is in mm 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 in mm the so next moment of inertia calculate the moment of inertia moment of inertia that is i is equal to actually rod it is circular rod it is circular so that's why pi d raised to 4 divided by 64 pi d raised to 4 divided by 64 hence pi into pi d raised to 4 divided by is equal to so pi d it is diameter of bar it is diameter of bar it is 40 mm 40 10 raised to the 4 10 raised to 4 divided by 64 Sixty-four. Y is equal to for that. I is equal to pi into forty raised to four divided by sixty-four. It will be one twenty-five point six six three. One twenty-five point six six three into ten raised to the power. See, mm raised to 4, mm raised to, mm raised to 4, this one it is moment of inertia, moment of inertia, then E, modulus of elasticity it is given, E is equal to 200 GPA, 200 GPA, convert it is in Newton per mm square, GPA to Newton per mm square, that is 200 into 10 raised to the power, or 3, Newton per mm square. Newton per mm square. Then Euler's formula. Euler's Euler's crippling formula. By using, by using Euler's crippling load is equal to pi square pi square into pi square into e into i pi square e i divided by l e square divided by l e square divided by l e square put all this value here i square e i by l e square is equal to 
phi square. Phi square into into 10 raised to the power c into i it is 125.663 into 10 raised to the power c mm raised to 4 divided by divided by divided by l e square that is l e square So L is square that is in bracket 10 into 10 is to the power 3 square. Calculate the Miller's crippling load of this is equal to the pi square into 200 into. 10 raised to the power 3 into 125.663 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by 10 into 10 raised to the power 3 bracket square. So it will be 2480.488 newton. Okay, that is in kilonewton, Euler's crippling. It is in kilonewton 2.4480 kilonewton. Okay. So this one it is Euler's crippling load when rod it is 5 meter long and diameter it is 40 mm and Euler's uh, modulus of electricity is 200 gigapascal. Okay. 